Hi, this is Enthusiastic Steve. Today, I have one Quangshang and one contact to Australia. So again, hi from Enthusiastic Steve. In this video, I want to uh, show you some of the attributes of this little Quingshan handheld radio. Now, I'm not going to go into how you change the firmware, or how you use CPS. There are literally hundreds, if not more, videos out there currently on this little handheld. But I just want to show you, if you've got one, what you can do with it. Now, a lot of people just turn them on, they get frustrated because they don't really understand the airways, the air bands, or the bands themselves, and they don't find anything to hear and listen to. They all think you can use them on CB radio and things like that, and which you cannot. Um, and then they get thrown away. I've already seen these on the second-hand market, and they've only really been in the, uh, in the country for a few months now. But these radios, for price, are fantastic. And um, I made a contact into Australia. Uh, I am a licensed amateur. And if you have got a license, I would encourage people, you know, if they're interested in radio and not gone for the license yet, never been a better time to do it. And I'll explain more a little bit later. So this is Enthusiastic Steve talking about the Quangshan and what you can do with it. There is probably no one left on the planet well, no one that's interested in radio that hasn't yet seen or heard of one of these Quangshan radios. They've stormed the market over the last few months right across the world. It's because people realise that uh, this radio for price is a fantastic little radio. Primarily, it is an amateur 2 meter 70 sems radio. But uh, the clever guys out there have discovered that the chip inside it is able to be slightly hacked with firmware so various firmware people are writing various firmwares which allow this radio to really punch above its weight when i say punch above its weight i mean heavyweight what it does is amazing receive it can be go down as well it can go down to as far as 18 megahertz and up to 1300 megahertz there's other firmware out there i believe which can even extend that even further you can have a band scope on the screen. You, know, you can actually see activity across a particular part of the band. Unheard of on a radio of this price point. Now the Quenxian is really the modern day equivalent of the Beofeng. Or, Beofeng, or the, the Bang Funny. <laughs> Call it what you like. But again, uh, you know, the last few years this radio has dominated the market. People are buying them just to stick in their cars, to carry in their pockets, to have as a spare little radio. They work on, again, on PMR. Not meant to use them on PMR, but they do. Um, two metres, 70 sems here in the UK. Um, other parts of the world, they do other frequencies as well. So, yeah, a very good little radio. But this Quangshan has really taken the market by storm. Basically because you can update the firmware, like I said. Again, the Quangshan is not a scanner, okay, but it has memories and you can scan them in a couple of different banks. So you can put, if you want to listen to the PMR here in the UK, you can put the 16 channels, as I've done on this one, uh, in one batch. And in the second batch, I've put some local airfields and also uh, the marine traffic because I'm not that far from the coastline. And yes, I did mention air bands, aircraft. Now, when these uh, when these radios first come out, they were abysmal on AM because it's an FM radio. If yeah, it hasn't got an AM circuit in it, but again, those clever people who could play with firmware uh, managed to reprogram the firmware to trick the radio into uh, basically demodulating the signal into an AM signal, and they've done a pretty good job. So yes, it's not. It's not the best audio, there's always a little bit of hiss maybe with the audio, but it's perfectly clear. And if you're at a local airport listening to local strong traffic, it works a treat. Now I mentioned that this uh, little radio has been tricked into performing on AM as well as FM, but also it has double sideband. 
Now you show me another radio, particular well, sub twenty pounds that can actually receive on sideband. It's not true upper and lower sideband. It is double sideband, but it's got such fine tuning steps you can resolve most uh, sideband signals, and it is absolutely crystal clear. So in a minute, let's take a little listen around some of the bands and see what this thing's actually capable of hearing. I had a little tune around on the air band, and it, unfortunately it was a bit quiet when I did. Uh, I had a little tune around on the marine band as well, and also made a contact uh, using something called Hubnet into Australia. I'll play that a little bit later. Hey, my seven new BTS, that's all we see, sir. Thank you for maintaining a good listening watch, please, on channel 12 for BTS traffic and 09 watch drifting. Copy that, sir. We'll keep the watch on channel 1209, MX7 new out. Radio Sphere, Spotted Warmer Mile, outbound at Western Hotel. Radio Sphere, BTS, that's all. Thank you, I've got no immediate outbound traffic for you and uh, no reported inbound traffic. Roger, thank you. Yeah, if you want to go on Echo 3, that is port side 2, Bowsin, over. Champion to the west of 1600, outbound traffic with Champion just past Lake Corner. White Rider 1, continue on in through to your berth, which champion will adjust speed if necessary. Yeah, oh, I've got it, sir, thank you. Okay, camp traffic, there's the bar, 14, just a bit, uh, traffic information, the truck bounce board is hard broken, but we're not sure if it's quite speed in there. Okay, champs and faith, that's all copy, sir, uh, yeah, and we'll stand by until she's all clear, thank you. Oh, we're bound to Southampton, please. Red Falcon, VTS, thank you. That's all understood. Um, outward bound. Traffic is Titania. In Sun Channel to the east. That's uh, all copied. Thanks very much. Falcon out. channels and um, this is uh, me transmitting from a little way down the street back into the antenna um, on the radio and uh, yeah it works fairly well um, it can be so I've programmed it you can program these radios to receive on all 16 channels and scan them uh, it can transmit with the right firmware but not recommended because legally the to be on the 446 channel you must have a fixed antenna and you must have a, a, a maximum power output of only half a watt. Mike sits uh, whiskey, uh, Victor Victor, just testing a input onto a simplex channel from uh, another radio. Just testing the audio, or uh, one, two, three, four, five. Just seeing what it sounds like on the uh, Quinchang. Uh, this is Mike sits uh, whiskey, Victor Victor. Test over. This is Mike sits uh, whiskey, Victor Victor, uh, testing a handheld into a simplex channel on seventy centimeters. Testing the Quang Shan, uh, Quang Shen, uh, you never pronounce it, Quang Shan handheld, uh, just to see how well it receives on 70 centimeters. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Mike sits, Whiskey Victor Victor. Test complete. Gave me a, a mobile number that I can phone up and order. And uh, very reasonable price, actually. The uh, other sort of all day fish and chips which is six pounds or 5.95 which is blooming good for that price you just got ridiculous you know, for the amount of fish you got um yeah what was the last one i got the last last fish and chips i got was then um lee um around by the co-op as i mentioned at the start of the video there's never been a better time to uh, consider becoming an amateur radio operator here in the UK, our regulatory board, the Ofcom, have just updated all the rules and regulations. Uh, and they've given us um, some very big benefits now uh, using uh, amateur radio equipment. Many, many things have changed. 
So I would encourage anybody interested in radio, shortwave listeners, CB operators, PMR operators, uh, have a think about taking the next step and becoming an amateur radio operator. Uh, wherever you are in the world, it has big benefits. Right, let's get on with this uh, Australian contact I made. Well, I made it through something called Hubnet. Hubnet is a global network which incorporates radio, RF and the internet. Okay, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it allows you to speak to people around the world, especially when conditions are not that great. Look up Hubnet on your computer and uh, have a little read. It's very interesting. Hubnet can be accessed in many ways, but one way is to use your own micro hub. If you're interested in uh, building your own or buying a kit or one already made, I can recommend G7RPG's website. It tells you all you need to know. So, on to the contact. Mike sits Whiskey Victor Victor Portable. And a big apologies, Andy. Um, I, I heard another station call, but then the Prescott station completely came over the top of you. And unfortunately, I didn't hear there was a VK station. Um, but So I'll, I'll kick myself. But Andy, if you're still there, I'd love to talk to you. So this is Mike Sitz a Whiskey a Victor Victor a Portable to VK Sitz HQ down there on the other side of the planet uh, in Australia. And here he comes. Uh, Mike 6, uh, Whiskey Victor Victor. This is uh, VK6 Hotel Quebec. Uh, the name is uh, Andy and I'm in uh, Perth, Western Australia. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't really offend uh, that easily, Steve. So uh, you haven't got to apologise. <laughs> but when I, uh, when I heard he you... He called uh, back, but I didn't quite hear him. ...the press car, I thought, oh my goodness me, you must have... Uh, uh, well, if he's calling CQDX, he must have something over me that I don't know what it is. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I know exactly where you are. The Quangshan. It never ceases to impress me. So thank you very much again for watching one of my videos. Please uh, have a click back through all my other videos on YouTube. There's something for everybody. Uh, lots of information there for every radio user. And uh, again, uh, if you like what you see, please click on like and subscribe. And thank you uh, very much. I greatly appreciate your support.